Hello magpies, this video is a meme that brings together two of my interests in an epic crossover. It's like a horoscope for activists through the lens of Dungeons and Dragons. What is your fantasy class? And what manner of social justice adventurer are you? Let's swoop on in and find out by cracking open the Social Justice Player's Handbook. If you survived the bad dialogue tsunami of 2014 or otherwise don't make it a habit of regularly touching grass, I can almost guarantee that you are well familiar with the term social justice warrior. It's a staple of bad internet discourse, but you may be surprised to learn that the word predates the internet by nearly 40 years. In fact, its earliest use dates back to 1945, when it was used as a moniker of praise for exceptional individuals who fought for civil liberties. I mean, let's be real, it does sound kind of badass, right? Social justice warrior. But today, it is the conservative way to co-opt the language of activism and twist it into caricatures as distorted as their own moral compasses. In the rhetorical equivalent roughly of, oh I know you are, but what am I? Likewise, it is in the character of the internet to magnify foolishness, and somewhere along the way the word took a sharp right hand turn. A particularly far right hand turn if you catch my meaning. I personally encountered the term way back in 2013 on a now defunct Tumblr blog of the same name that defined it as a kind of performative narcissism adjacent to the term keyboard warrior. Ostensibly a drama blog, this Tumblr account was dedicated to posting examples of foolish, immature, or bad faith users who adopted sociological language to act in ways that brought legitimate activism into disrepute. The goal of this blog was to recognize bad activism and encourage readers to do better. Shortly after I found that the blog shut down, stating that the word had lost all meaning, the moderator posted their final update regretting that while they had a good run, Towards the end, almost all their user submissions had come to be politically motivated attacks on the idea of progressive activism itself. And whatever value the term once had had to call out problems on the left was now overcome by the idea that anyone who disrupted the status quo was a target for ridicule. Honestly, it was the most prescient take I think I've ever seen come out of Tumblr. Indeed, projection is close to being the entire conservative wheelhouse. So over the coming years and overflowing from the message boards where reactionaries ferment, it became very popular on your way down a far right rabbit hole to pretend to care about social issues as a way of broadly undermining intellectualism itself. Likewise, it came, became very popular to call anyone to the left of Mussolini a social justice warrior, now shortened to SJW to make it sound less badass, no doubt. The phrase had become an insult in the rhetorical vein of a shower argument with a foggy mirror against a silhouette of a villain who only pretends to care about social issues as a way of broadly undermining intellectualism itself. It's understandable in a way, I think, when you don't really believe in anything except the aesthetics of dominance and irreverence in a cruel world, it's only natural to assume that everyone else is also a morally bankrupt narcissist. In light of this cognitive dissonance, I think that the SJW moniker remains to this day a valid critique of the loudest and least informed voices, either on the left or on the right, who, I believe, given the material circumstances to challenge their beliefs, will, hopefully, one day grow out of it. 
But that's not the end of the story. To further complicate definitions, at the same time, progressives were adopting the moniker as a badge of honour to reclaim it once more, like, fuck you, yeah I'm a social justice warrior because it sounds totally badass, and your neckbeards only wish you thought of it, thought of it first. But I don't believe I am alone in discontent with such a culturally significant term merely coming full circle. I stand a synthesis. The phrase has grown organically, such that we now have a whole range of other fantasy RPG classes emerging in parallel to the original meme. It's kind of a no-brainer, right? Where there is a warrior, there is a wizard, a rogue, and a cleric. So this isn't my meme alone, not by my invention at least. But the nature of memes is that everyone gets to add their commentary and innovation to the template. So I want to flesh out all the base Dungeons and Dragons classes and their parallels in activist archetypes, both good and bad. Not just as a funny meme, but also to argue in favour of a big tent approach where many classes support and balance each other out with many approaches and many abilities, forging a stronger alliance for our diversity of tactics. I want to point out that any ally is but a hair's breadth away from being a bad activist, and that's okay if we learn to recognize the signs and to grow from our mistakes. And finally, in some ways, most importantly, I want to refute the preoccupation with purity among so many who fight to save the world. Alright, that's session zero over. I'm not going to tell you anymore. Now, I want to show you. Let's roll up some characters in the next video, coming soon.